Boo Boo Badoop is fabulous and slightly scarring as well. This is the 1932 Betty Boop cartoon from Fleischer. This is one of their tour cartoons. And we don't just have Betty Boop, we also have Bimbo and Coco the Clown. And this is the first time I've seen Coco the Clown and Betty Boop in a cartoon together. I'm not sure if that's a recurring feature. Kind of hope it is because I really enjoyed this. So Betty Boop is working in a circus. She is a lion tamer. She's also doing some tightrope walking and she's singing her Boo Boo Ba Doop song, which is very addictive and honestly, really, truly adored it. Um, Betty Boop is voiced in this particular cartoon by Anne Little and we have Billy Murray voicing Bimbo, who is just screaming peanuts the entire time. I um, really thoroughly enjoyed the particular um, child that he interacts with a lot. And then it takes a dark turn, and I will talk about that in more detail in a second, but I don't want to spoil it without a spoiler warning, but it does take quite a dark turn, but then Coco the Clown comes along, and this character is utilised in such a fantastic way, and I really thoroughly enjoyed the character's performance and what he brought to the cartoon, and obviously having Coco the Clown, one of Fleischer's very, very first characters, when he was under the guise of just called the clown. Um, he kind of transformed into Coco the clown later on, interacting with one of Fleischer's most iconic characters of all time. I just absolutely loved it. And I thought Bimbo in this was very cute as well. So thoroughly enjoyed it, thoroughly recommend it, whether or not you've seen any Betty Boop before. Um, I really thought it was brilliant. I love the animation style. I love the classic Fleischer style. And I just think Betty Boop looks fabulous. It doesn't surprise me at all that she became a hit very quickly, which resulted in some lawsuits. There was actually, uh, I've just finished reading a book or a section of a book, the book I can't remember, but it's about the history of animation. And it looks at the um, legal case regarding Boop Boop Doop uh, as a term and um, some potential copyright theft. I won't spoil that, but I will say uh, Fleischer were good. They were all good. No problems. Really thoroughly enjoyed this one. So spoiler from now, I'm about to explain what happens at the end. With the ringmaster stroking Betty's leg and Betty crying and pleading him not to take her boop boop -a doop away. What does boop boop -a doop stand for? Um, well, we can speculate that it's something to do with her useful, youthful innocence. And... Maybe it just is another word for Hakuna Matata or supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. Maybe it's just one of those words that means no worries, everything is great. Or maybe it does have a more sexual connotation. I don't know. I'd love to know your interpretation of that. But the song itself, I love the word, the phrase, boop boop a doop. I just, it's brilliant. Um, and Betty Boop is fabulously animated. Yes, the ending, as I said, with a spoiler warning, the ringmaster does kind of make sexual advances at her, having Coco coming along and saving her, or trying to save her, but not without problems, I thought was a wonderful idea. Really thoroughly adoyed, ad adoyed? that's me trying to say, adored and enjoyed Betty Boop in Boop Boop A Doop.